and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and review for the brand new David Harper film Violent Night starring David Harper now if I put to that I apologize but um so let's talk about this film because I literally just saw this this past weekend and you know what when I saw the first trailer for it, it piqued my interest. I was like, okay, Santa Claus, instead of delivering presents, he's going to be delivering, you know, cans of whoop asses to a bunch of people who are trying to hurt little kids on Christmas. So, okay, I'll check this out. So, it does stars, you know, David Hopper and also uh, John Leguizamo. And um, got to say, I love John Leguizamo. I think he's great. You know, especially for some some movies that he's in, he he does he does a really good job. So in this movie, you have Santa Claus. He's he's you know he's doing his job. You know he's being all you know ho 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 in a way. He takes a break and he you know he's at that point in his life. He's like, why am I doing this? You know you know kids today, you know you know some of the kids today they don't care about the Christmas spirit. They don't care about Santa Claus delivering presents. They just want uh, Amazon. Click this. Click. Oh, I can buy this today. Click. Hey, that's all they care about. Click, click, click. So you know he's down on his luck. He really doesn't care. And then we get the John Leguizamo's character, where he's just this guy who who goes into this family where you know you have a couple and they raising their daughter. They go visit their you know the, the father's mother. Who's very very rich? Apparently she's like a senator. So they go to her house for Christmas Eve, and John Leguizamo comes around and he's like, "I want your money." Apparently this lady's got a vault in her house, so he goes with his crew, jacks the joint up, and things start to happen when the girl kind of accidentally starts to. <clears throat> she has like this like this thing a way to communicate with somebody and she accidentally kind of contacts Santa Claus and when you meet Santa Claus and when you see him interact with this little girl it's really it's really really sweet and then when he ends up cutting loose Santa Claus you're thinking okay this is going to become one of those dead you know uh, kind of like a rip off John Wick meets Deadpool kind of situations and it's pretty much that. This movie is actually John. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Die Hard meets Home Alone, as people have been saying about it. And you can even add a little bit of Deadpool with the violence. And you know what? I thought this movie was a lot of fun. You know, the story was very simple. You got bad guys. They go to a very wealthy family's house. They want money. The action hero shows up, kicks some butt, does what he does, kills the bad guys. But I think what the best part about this film was the fact that is that dynamic between David Harper as Santa Claus and this little girl. This little girl who who, who kind of has a problem with her family and she wants to fix that problem and she believes in Santa Claus. You know, she's at that age where she she believes in him. She believes in Santa Claus thinking he's, you know, real and all that. And then when she finally actually meets him, they cross hairs together in a, in a sweet way. And he literally, like, takes this little girl and is like, okay, I got to protect her. I got to give her what she wants. She wants this done. I will help her out. And when you watch this movie, it's like, yeah, that that was actually pretty fun. Like, when you see Santa Claus do the, the, the violent stuff in here, it's actually really, really cool. Um, I thought all the dynamic moments between him and the little girl were great. I thought John Leguizamo was was a typical like maybe '90s style bad guy. He was fine. Um, I enjoyed all the the action scenes as they are. I thought that stuff really worked. And I thought it was a fun little film. I mean, there was some stuff in here that I didn't like. It does have its little pacing issues. You know, it does take its time where it gets to the point where, you know, Santa Claus doing his thing. You know, they don't really explain too much about Santa Claus's backstory in a way of why he feels the way he feels. I mean, we do get a backstory about his backstory before he even becomes Santa Claus. I thought that was pretty interesting. Kind of wish we got a little bit more details about that. But um, other than that, I thought the movie was fine. It was a fun little film. If you have nothing to watch this weekend, 
And let's face the fact, I'm just waiting for next week, which is Avatar. And if you can't get tickets for next week, you might as well go check this movie out. It was a lot of fun, you know? And I, I hear that that new horror Grinch movie's coming out. Um, if you can't find that in any of your local theaters, check this movie out. Because honestly, this was a lot of fun. I thought it was cool. Um, I thought the way they, they made Santa Claus look pretty badass. I thought that, that worked in in all the right ways. And um, even the supporting cast. You know, you got the mother, the father, the grandmother in here. You have uh, an aunt, a, um, somewhat uncle and a cousin in here they all worked you know some of the characters were a little, little you know they were pretty much bratty and douchey at the same time but when you meet these characters they're like wow they all actually serve a purpose for the story and it actually worked the little girl was great um you know that like i said the parents were cool like you know yeah but the other characters were good too even though they, their roles were very small compared to everybody else's but David Harper carries this film, and I thought he did a really good job. And his his um his fighting scenes in here and this movie were really really cool. So I enjoyed it. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this film. Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys thought you know? Did you guys see the trailer? Think it's interesting? Are you guys planning on seeing it? Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much, and have a good day.